Hi, Charlie McCann from Stan James. Welcome to a preview of this weekend's sporting action. A quick review. All the very best to you for the new year tomorrow night. By the way, all let's hope that we all have a prosperous and successful 2010. Quick reflection: what we put up over uh, over the Christmas period. First of all, we put up you know, the Test matches. Hope you were wrong. Jack Callis. We put up top batsman at 92 for South Africa into Semdu Paul. We put a Graham Swan at 92 into four to six to be top England bowler. And we also put up England at 92 to win the series. They are now eight to 11. We've got prices at Stan James. We are betting on the third Test at Cape Town. They've got a very good record. South Africa in Cape Town. For the third test, 13 to 8 South Africa, 7 to 4 to draw, 15 to 8 England. Uh, the dart, we did put up the 9 dart, and we said there would be a 9 dart. I, I, I just think I, I thought it was 7 to 4. If you remember, I thought Taylor himself was a 7 to 4 shot. As it uh, turned out, it was Barney who got back to black now. Um, uh, nine darters in the World Championship. With your, only one quarterfinal we know so far. Taylor 6 to 1 on against Adrian Lewis. Adrian Lewis yet to w lose a set so far in the 2010 World Championship. He's been fantastic so far, four to one shot, but he's playing Taylor. Let's get things into perspective, that it's all right beating McDyne, etc. but um, not for me, I must say, even at four to one. We're trying to entice you, let's get it right. I think we'll be the biggest price for uh, Adrian Lewis in that quarterfinal. Lee Westwood as well, just one of the specials I want to put up, who will finish highest in their respected order and merits this year. 4-7 Phil Nicholson against 5-4 to four Westwood. Well, I think Westwood will win his order of merit. And Nicholson came on quite strongly towards the end, but I think that's a cracking bet. Lee Westwood 5-4 to four to finish higher in his order, respective order of merit. That is the race to Dubai, the order, European order of merit. Dan Nicholson at 4-7 must be uh, Westwood for me. Just a quick reflection on the horse racing. Let's go. First of all, we put a mark we put up this morning, betting without big books for the world hurdle. We bet 5-2 to two, Carabac, a runner-up in two uh, big books yesterday in the long walk, also runner-up in the Ballymore last year. He's 3-1 to one for Diamond Harry. Then it's 8-1 to one, Mr. Thriller. Tens catches. Weapons Amnesty 10, probably go for the RSA Chase. Lifer at 14, Sferro along 14 to 1. Uh, bar 5 for 3 is the only possible danger, and it looks as if he's out for the season. Big Book's an absolute cert. He's going to go off, a, 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 in my opinion, about a price that Easterbrack went off for the champion hurdle when he, he was in his pomp at the turn of the century. Course of Star 6 to 4 now, sorry, 6 to 1 into 5 to 4. Uh, Denman 7 to 4 into 13 to 8. This is on the back of the Lexus yesterday. What a friend won that. And I'm afraid it doesn't look as if the Irish have got a half decent chase, let alone a potential Gold World Cup winner. I'm afraid we've also got betting to do. Check out StanJames.com for betting without Denman and Corto Star. 9 to 2 cool down would be my recommendation in that. I think he is. Uh, uh, probably best water friend. It may well be kept for ancient and also for punches down if uh, Paul Nichols can persuade Sir Alec and uh, Jed Mason, co owners of that. Unchanged uh, Solwick 9 to 2 for the champion hurdle after yesterday's uh, grade one in Ireland. Sublimity, I thought that ran well. Not surprised that we cut that 20s into 16s. Remember the 2007 champion hurdle winner. Let's go on to the football. It is wonderful, wonderful weekend. This is the football, the third round of the FA Cup. Everybody dreams. As an Evertonian, it was Wembley for me last year, but for, for Everton, but we were put in our place by Chelsea, and that's probably the place to, to start with Chelsea four to one, nine to two for Manchester United, six is Liverpool, and sevens Arsenal. It's ten to one bar, so it's ten to one anyone bar the big four. And I think we found out at uh, at Villa Park last night that Aston Villa are pretenders. I'm afraid to say that's all they are to that crown of being in the big four. Whether Manchester City and Spurs, that's different. What a game that will be in around about 12 days' time when um, Spurs go to Anfield. And Liverpool will still be about um, without Mascarano. That might be important. That'll be a fascinating game for that. We'll be betting on. We'll have all sorts of FA Cup specials. Do check out uh, StanJames.com. I suppose I've got to put one up. I'm going to put Everton up. I think if Jags get back, Jagielka gets back, and Nick Valtetta gets back, I think we're coming into a bit of form. Hopefully, we can be safe in our Premier League uh, position. I think it would be Everton and Fulham for me. Fulham 33 to 1, 20 to Everton to 1. That would be it. But of course, the big four have dominated in recent years. Save, of course. Uh, when Harry won it with Portsmouth a couple of years ago. Just got a few bets, if I may. Villa 8 to 15 versus Blackburn for the weekend. I think Blackburn may have more than one eye on the Premier League and survival. Newcastle 5 to 6 at Plymouth. Okay, they only drew a home to Derby last time, but uh, they created plenty of chances. Swansea 2 to 1 at Leicester. I just got something out there. I think this is a, a beautiful footballing side, this uh, Swansea, and I think they can win at Leicester. Last one, Pompey 4 to 7. Pompey, of course, play tonight, play a home to Arsenal. Hopefully, um, they may have, uh, well, I, I, I can't see them getting anything from Arsenal if they play with the same fluidity they did in the second half at the Emirates last time. But Pompey 4-7. to seven. But for me, 
I might be biased at Everton at 20 to 1 and Fulham at 33 to 1 for the FA Cup. But can we beat the big four? We did it a couple of years ago with Pompey. Have a great 2010. Be lucky.